here at the Dragon with Hope Nicholson, comic book historian. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already put together a Nelvana book for us, and we've talked about that earlier, but now you've just completed, or you're working on Brock Windsor. Yes. Tell us about Brock Windsor. Uh, Brock Windsor was a comic book that was published in Vancouver in 1944 through 1946. And it was probably um, an example of some of the finest art in comic books of that time period. And it was really done uh, amazingly work by a character, uh, sorry, an artist named John Stables, who's from Winnipeg. And he based it on a friend of his uh, named Brock Windsor, who's actually a Lake of the Woods expert. And in the story itself, Brock Windsor, the character, travels to Lake of the Woods where he discovers a magical land and has to fight monsters and demons uh, in order to find a cure for a condition that infected him on the island that was turning him into a giant. Brock was turning into a giant. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So what's the problem with that? Just finding clothes to fit or what? Well, eventually, uh, as is the case with most giants, if he grows too large, it will eventually kill him due to strain on his heart. Right. So if you have no cure, it might be fun for a few days, but eventually it'll kill him. So he starts off a regular size, and I guess by the end of the series, if or if he does not find the cure, I don't know yet, he's like, you know, pretty big guy? Uh, he gets to about seven foot four by the end of the series. So not super huge, but big enough. And this land, this, is, this, this magical land, is it in Canada? Yes, it's located in the middle of Lake of the Woods, and it's called Chakwa, and it's uh, the home to a technologically advanced First Nations community that's been separated from the rest of the country. So they have flying cars and ray guns and all sorts of uh, fun devices. Wow. Mm -hmm. and if they're smart, they will stay separated from the rest of Canada. There's a conversation actually in the middle of the book where they discuss uh, whether or not that should happen. So it's, it's actually uh, very interesting that they brought it up. So. Now, my geography on Lake of the Woods is not too good. Where exactly is the Lake of the Woods? Uh, Lake of the Woods falls uh, in between the borders of Manitoba and Ontario, um, near, I believe, the Minnesota border. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. it kind of crosses the borders uh, between the United States, Ontario, and Manitoba. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And the Brock Windsor gentleman is whatever happened to him? Did he the the become real a giant? one? Yeah. Uh, the real Brock Windsor was he was sorry. I'm just trying to remember now. I talked to his family just a few days ago, so I'm just trying to put together his history in my head. But he was a Lake of the Woods expert, and he was a photographer, and he was just a passionate guy uh, involved in a lot of different things in Winnipeg, which is where he's from. In fact, he ran an electronic shop in Winnipeg as well. And uh, he passed away about 30 years ago now. Um, but yeah, he had met at some point this artist named John Stables, who was in Winnipeg as well. And when it came time for John Stables to create a superhero, he based it on Brock Windsor. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's almost like Flash Gordon y, sort of. It's definitely like Canadian Flash Gordon, just a lot of canoes included as well. Canoes. Yeah. Well, what's really neat is that uh, in one of the first stories, Brock Windsor is traveling along uh, the Lake of the Woods in a canoe. And I found a photo of the real Brock Windsor in the exact same canoe. Really? I could identify them because they both had a painted star on the front of the boat. Interesting. Mm hmm. Now you've already you put together all these stories, you found them all? Yes, I found them all through car, uh, archives across Canada. What I found was really interesting is that most of the Brock Windsor stories were in archives that I did not use for the Nelvana project, so I had to go and find brand new collectors and archives to, to use for the project. Wow. Just a lot of work, but it was fun. Awesome. Anything in the future? Any new characters you're going to put together? Uh, yeah, there's always new ones. Like, there's a lot of reprints I want to do, but I don't want to announce any until I can find out if I can actually find all the issues. So that's the biggest thing, because some of these have just been lost, and there are issues that I've never been able to find. So I want to be able to determine that first. But my next project is actually I'm going to be the editor of an Aboriginal comics book anthology um, done mostly by Indigenous creators and artists, and that's going to be published by AH Comics. And so I think they're doing a Kickstarter to run, raise funds for it uh, within the next few weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I look forward to that. It's As called a Moonshot. Moonshot. Yeah, based on a from a Buffy St. Marie song. Right. Mm -hmm. Canadian icon. Canadian icon. Awesome. I love what you're doing. Keep it up. Thank you. Alvana, Brock Windsor, and whoever else we Canadian heroes that we've lost. Well, there's a lot of them, and uh, hopefully they won't be lost for much longer. Excellent. Thanks to Hope Nicholson. Ha 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 ha.